Welcome to the Language Arts Choose Your Own Adventure Project and Lesson 1, Getting Started with Twine. In this tutorial, what I'm going to walk you through is just an overview of Twine, how to create a basic story, thirdly, how to create choices, fourth, returning to the beginning of your story in Twine, and lastly, saving files. So let's get started with a Twine overview. Twine basically allows you to build stories and games by using hypertext. So I want to just point you to this web uh, site, which will be available on your Romanet page, twinery.org forward slash two. Just FYI, it does work without the forward slash two, but Twine does uh, uh, recommend using that particular uh, URL. So when you log into that site, you're going to click use it online. And before we even go there, I just want to let you know about a couple things. Uh, first, files are saved automatically in your browser. So as you're working on a file, there's no save now button or save as. What It's actually being saved as you work on it. So that goes to this point. If you are in your browser and it's saving your file and then at another point you're using your browser and you clear browsing data if you're using Chrome, or if you do remove all website data or reset Safari in Safari, your story will be gone. Um, I will show you how to save the file, so that's not going to be a big deal if you, as long as you save the file, but just wanted to let you know. Um, uh, Twine can be used on the iPad, and so um, there's no issue with you using that. And lastly, as we're going through these tutorials, I want you to pay attention to any text that is in yellow highlight. So if you see the yellow highlight on a particular slide, just stop it or pay attention and don't miss what I'm trying to tell you at that point. So let's jump in. Uh, first of all, you're going to go to the website. Secondly, you're going to click uh, plus story to begin a new story. It's going to prompt you to add a title, so you'll add a title. And in the first box where your story begins, type introduction where it says untitled passage. So let me show you what that looks like. So I go to Twine and over on the right side it says use it online. I'll go ahead and click that. It'll give me, it'll bring me to a dashboard which eventually when you start a story it will have your stories created or uh, listed out here. We're going to click on plus story as I said. It prompts me for a story name so I'll just put sample story. And now all of a sudden I'm in kind of my twine um, area where I'm going to work. So you can see this box pops up. I can move this box wherever it is. And this box is going to be my introduction. So I can double click on it. Or if you notice these icons that show up, I can click on this pencil and it takes me to the same place. While I mention these icons, just as an FYI, this obviously throw uh, trash, delete it, this edit it. This is testing this story starting at a certain point, and we can talk about that more in another tutorial. And this space shuttle right here, as long as it's highlighted in blue for your introduction, that's where the story is going to begin. So just make sure that wherever your introduction is, that little space shuttle is highlighted in blue. So my slide said to double click this, and where it says Untitled Passage changes to Introduction. So I'll go ahead and put Introduction right there. Right here for this tag, I'm going to leave that blank for now, but right now I've got this set and done. While we're on this page, let me just show you a couple things as far as the dashboard's concerned. Home obviously takes you back home. I'll click on sample story. When you click this up arrow, you can see that we are going to, we will be able to add in JavaScript or our style sheet, which is our CSS style sheet, which I'll talk about in the next video. Um, you can do a few other things right over here, but I think the most useful thing is to know that you can um, publish your file, which is the way that we're going to save it, and as well edit in JavaScript and style sheet right there. Uh, over here, this quick find, uh, not really going to be useful for us at, for this particular project, but it's a way that we can find a particular part of our story if we're searching for it, if there's a lot of stuff on our story page here. Uh, next, there's just some icons that show you how to view uh, this particular story. So using your story structure, passage titles, or titles and excerpts. I like this one just because I can read a little bit about what that box was that I created. Your test right here, you can test it. And lastly, if I click play, well, 
I can now play my story. So let's go back to our slide and let's go on to the third bullet point. So how do you create choices? You'll actually surround your choices with two brackets. And remember where I showed you that plus tag? For every uh, box that comes up going forward, label each box where it says plus tag with your choice name, like choice 1A or choice 1B, okay? Let me walk you through this part. So I'll go back to Twine and I'm going to type in my introduction. For the sake of this video, I don't want to waste your time, so I'll say wake up, realize, late, get ready, go to school. Now if you remember my story, my first choices were wait in the classroom or go out into hallway. And notice I put my two brackets there. And when I create those two brackets, watch what happens when I click outside here. All of a sudden, these two boxes appear. What I did say is that I want you to click on each box and then where it says plus tag is to give it the name of the choice. So this one was my choice 1A and I'll click this check mark. And then I'll go to my next one over here. And this one was choice 1B and I'll click the check mark. And now I've got these two labeled. These are, th these are just helpful labels so that we can keep track of things and we can find certain parts of our story in case we need to go back to edit it. Basically be doing all day on the first day of our time together is creating your story using the way that we just learned. Now at a certain point you'll have to return, you'll end your story in a bunch of different spots and you'll have to return those spots to the beginning of the story. So how do you do that? Well, you find the box that needs to return to the beginning and you'll type in this as its final choice because there's no choices there, but this will be its choice. It'll basically have the two brackets, start again, the single dash with the greater than sign and then introduction and then close that bracket. So let me show you how that's going to look in mine. So if I go to wait in classroom and I type something here, I'll give myself a couple more choices. Call police, go to office. Okay, so I've got these two choices. And imagine go to office uh, or call police is my last choice. This is where it's going to end. So I'm gonna put in, as I said before, uh, whatever choice this was, choice whatever it was, I'll type in the content of this, and now I want it to start from the beginning. So start again, that's what I want the text to show. I'll have my single dash, my greater than sign, and then you'll notice that it has options for me. Introduction is what I'm going to select. And when I click outside of that, you notice that this arrow takes me back to the introduction. So at this point, if I click play, I can walk through my story and I have my, uh, my basic passage. If I wait in classroom, call police, now it says start again. And now I can go back to the beginning of my story. Okay? You actually save your file. Uh, what you'll do is go to the main Twine menu once you're done with your work and you'll click on the settings gear and then you'll click publish to file and this will download the file to your computer. I would say at that point save it and email it to yourself. So make sure that you email it to yourself because you're not sure if you're going to use that same desktop tomorrow. Um, so let, let me show you what that will actually look like. So I'm done with my sample story. If I click on my uh, settings gear I can actually publish to file and you'll notice that sample story uh, parentheses one shows up. Now uh, what happens when I go to a new desktop on day two? How will I actually uh, be able to access my file? Well, let me show you what that will look like. So imagine I'm at a new desktop and I am open up my browser and it doesn't tell me anything uh, as far as my story. What I'll do is click this import from file and then I'll choose my file and I know my file was sample story. 
and I don't see it here so I can just scoot down and then there it is I can see it down there I can import it and now my sample story is ready in this browser to go that's how uh, you are going to save your files that's all I wanted to get through on day one of our twine tutorial